All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add items to this menu on top in your user interface of Google Sheets and then assign items in the list to your own macros and scripts. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the script editor by going tools and script editor. That should get us to this. I'm gonna call this something. I'm gonna rename this function my macro. And what I'll get this macro to do, I'll have it simply just put the current date in this Abon cell. So I'll go and do my spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get active sheet and then we'll get range and the range we're gonna get is gonna be that A1 cell A1 and then we'll set the value of that cell to the current date which we can get by doing a new date object. That's good enough, that should get us the date and time and that's fine, so let's just run this macro and give it the permission it needs. So I'll run this, give it a second, all the permission stuff, so that's this. Nothing new here. That runs the macro. Now if I go back and take a look, see I have the date in the cell. So that's what my macro does. And this is not really the point of this video, right? This I'm gonna clear. What I'm gonna show you is how to assign this macro to a menu here so that we can just open and click on an item and it runs that macro that I've just made. So to do this, I'm gonna create a new function. I'm gonna call this init menu so that we'll initialize our menu. So in here, what we need to do, we need to get to our spreadsheet app. And here I'm gonna do get UI, which is our user interface. I'm gonna assign that to a variable. I'll say var UI equals to that. So that will be our variable for user interface. Now within that variable UI, we will have different methods. So not UL, UI dot. So here see the methods we have, well, a bunch of them, but we're gonna concentrate on this create menu. So if I do create menu, see that says it's gonna return a menu. So if I click on that, we need to do the string caption. I'm gonna call this my macros and that returns a menu so let's just create a variable here to store that in so now if i take that menu that will have its own methods assigned to it and one of which is add to ui and try to run this and see what happens so you want to make sure that this is in that function that's that, and if I run this, see it says menu must contain at least one item. So let's add that one item. So I'm gonna go back here and add that item. We have to add it before we add it to UI. So I'm gonna do add item. And this item is gonna have some text. I'm gonna say my time macro. And then the function you want to run when you click on that. So the function is gonna be this function. It's called my macro. So it's gonna be that function name like this. That will add that to the menu and then we'll just add it to our UI. So now if I run this again, we should have that in our menu. See, we have a new menu called My Macros, which is this, when we create the menu. And when I open that, we have My Time Macro. And if I click on that, it will run, see that macro that puts the date in the cell. I'm gonna clear that, go back. So there it is, now we have a way to add a menu. 
Now, one thing that's a problem about this is that this menu is right now showing up. But if I refresh this spreadsheet, that will disappear. And if I want that to appear, I would have to go to my script editor again and run that function all over again. And if I do that and go back and take a look, it should have that menu now here. Now the problem is we don't want to do this. We want this to happen when we open the spreadsheet. So the way we're going to do that, we can use the special function in Google Sheets on open. And this is going to be case sensitive. So be careful. So on open is a special function in Google Sheets that's going to open and run it when you load the spreadsheet. And what we'll do, we'll just simply call this function in that on open function. So let's try this. I'm going to go back and we need to just refresh this and see what happens. That showed up. So there will always be some delay here. See, it doesn't show up immediately. It takes a little bit of time, but it will eventually get there. So there it is. Now, if I run this, it will run that other function and it works just fine. All right, so let's try to add some more items to this menu. So I'm going to do tools script editor again, get back to this editor. And now we're going to keep adding this before we add it to our UI. So I'm just going to put this down a little bit. And now we can just keep adding stuff to that menu by simply referring to that menu variable. If we want to add another item, we just do add item again, add some sort of text, whatever that's going to be called another one and a function we're going to run when we click on that particular menu item. Now we don't really have other functions here. So that should really be another function here. But since I don't have anything right now, I'm just going to repeat the same. This will be another macro usually. So if I save this now, I should have two items and both of them should be doing the same thing. So if I go back here and reload this, give it a second until the menu pops up. There it is. If I go here, now I have two. And if I click on this first one, that should put the date in. I'm going to clear that. If I go and click on the second one, that should also do the same thing because I've assigned the same function. All right, tools script editor. Now when you start working on this and you want to see the results from now on, you probably just want to run this function so you can see what happens. So you don't have to go and reload. And every time you reload, you have to go back and open the script editor, which can get annoying. So you'll just run this and you'll see the results and then have your on open run that when you open the spreadsheet. Sometimes when you add these menus, you may want to have like a nice line separating two items from a third item. Let me show you an example of that. If I go back and just copy one of these lines, let's assume we have another menu item here and I'm going to call it third one. And I'll have it go to the same function. That's okay. So by default, if I just run this, it should just be another item in our menu, which it is, as you can see, I'm going to add a separator so you can see what that does. So if I do this add separator right above it, what it's going to do is going to add a line to kind of do design split so we can kind of tell it's different than the rest. So if I go here, see, it's going to add this line to our menu. So if you want to add C similar to like this line or this line in this help menu, if you want to add one of those, that's what you do. So I also want to show you how to add, let me see where I can find one like this. See when I have this thing, when I go over and I get another menu popping up. So that would be a sub menu. So to do one of those sub menus, actually, let me just get another macro. So we don't assign everything to the same macro.
There it is. So that's going to be my function. Again, nothing special. I'm going to go back here and to that menu. Let's actually add a separator to do another line. And then if we do a menu item again, it's going to be add sub menu, which will accept a menu in it. So to put a menu in it, we have to actually create one. So before we do that, then let's create a sub menu. So I'm going to do sub menu variable. And sub menu is really just another menu. So it's really going to be the same thing. I'm going to take the UI and create another menu out of it exactly the way I did it here. So I'm going to take UI dot create a menu and that will have some sort of text. So we'll say special functions and here in this sub menu, I'm going to add an item and that item is going to be some text again. So show the box and then the function I want to run. So the function, if you remember, it was this one show message and it has to go a string and I'm going to do a semicolon to finish this line. So now I have a sub menu that I've created with an item in it. When I have that, I can now take the sub menu and put it inside of this menu. So I'm going to go here, go under this menu and add a sub menu and that will accept a menu. So instead of this menu, I'm going to do this variable sub menu and then we'll just put it in our UI. That's it. So I'm going to save this and let's run this. See what happens. So let's go back. This is our menu. See, now I have this special functions that has an item in it. And if I do show the box, it will have this box, which is a prompt for the user to enter something. That's good. Maybe I shouldn't have used the prompt, but that's really not the point of this video anyways. Finally, just to make sure I go over everything here, if you wanted another item here, you just add an item to your sub menu. So you would just go here and do sub menu again and add item and then some text. And then I'm going to run the same my macro thing that was just adding the date. Save this. So let's just run this to see what happens. Again, go back here. See, we have this. Now we have two items here. One is the date, which is going to put that date in there. And the other one is that prompt, which is going to give us this prompt box. So that's that. So we have our menu and it works. If you wanted another menu with multiple items, you would have to just create another sub menu. So just to make sure I show you that it is very, very similar. So what you would do, you would just basically redo this sub menu thing. So I would just copy this probably and go here and I'm going to call it sub menu two. It has to have a different name here and then we'll just add everything to that sub menu too and put that sub menu in our menu again. And you would just change all of these things. So maybe we don't want two things here. We just want one. Save it. If I run this, it should now have another section with a sub menu. So basically, just to comment this, this is where we access the UI user interface here, and then create our main menu, then add regular items to our main menu. 
that's what we do here. And then here we create a sub menu and add it to our main menu. And then finally, we repeat that, call it another sub menu and add it to our main menu. And don't forget to render all of the above. So that does that. And we're going to run this function when we open our spreadsheet on open. So now if I just close this and go back to my spreadsheet and reload it, that menu should show up. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.